Countries in the Asia-Pacific face other challenges in phasing out ODS production or use. One is phasing out various solvents that contain ODS. This is Rajesh Bai, a laundry worker. We ask him if he has heard of the ozone layer. To him, what matters is quick and efficient removal of stains. Has he heard that carbon tetrachloride, CTC, might be a harmful chemical? CTC belongs to a group of chemicals known as solvents. Solvents are used for dry cleaning of laundry and cleaning of electronic products to have high levels of purity. These are used mostly by small and medium enterprises, or SMEs. Because they are scattered, it requires a combination of technology, policy, awareness and training to get them to switch to alternatives. Another big challenge is illegal trade. Some ozone-damaging chemicals already phased out have inspired a black market. This illegal use and smuggling of chemicals across borders can negate years of hard work. Stemming this practice involves training customs officials and cross-border cooperation. Consumers can play their part by saying no to using goods that contain any ODS. Meanwhile, the Pacific Island countries face their own particular challenges of sustaining the phase-out. Most of them need sustained assistance to meet their compliance commitments. Fiji has taken the initiative to sustain zero-level consumption since 2003. Recently, Fiji also had the first successful prosecution against illegal ODS smuggling in any developing country. Finally, countries in the Asia-Pacific need to minimise the accidental leakage of ODS from various equipment. Proper servicing and maintenance can help. And when equipment cannot be used anymore, their safe disposal is important. Mm -hmm.